Hello, I'm Stephen Ballast. In this video, I'm gonna show you the best way that I've found to make my own really sturdy and reliable SDI video cables. A while ago here on my channel, I showed you how to make your own SDI video cables using a crimp tool. And I will still use these crimp connectors if I'm putting together a rack where the cables will be installed and not see much wear, because these connectors are cheaper than the solution I'm about to show you. But these crimp connectors have one weakness, and that is they're kind of weak. If the cable gets a really good yank, the connector's gonna come off. What I've found makes a really strong cable are these double bubble one piece compression connectors from Belden. It takes a special double bubble compression tool and it's not cheap, but I think it's well worth it for making cables that are out on stage or cables that connect and disconnect from your camera all the time to wall plates or something like that. It will save you a lot of frustration to make yourself a cable like this and be done with it. You can find links to these connectors and these tools down in the description of this video. Okay, so let me show you how I make these. First, cut your coax cable to length and use a cable stripping tool that's meant for RG6 coax cable to prepare the end for the connector. Take the center wire core of the cable and put it in the center pin of the connector and push the cable in as far as it can go. A little tip here and an important step is to get the cable pushed in far enough. If you graze your fingertip across the end of the connector, you should be able to feel the tip of the pin. If you can't, the cable is not pushed in far enough. I like to take a pair of pliers with a flat spot on them so I don't mar the cable too badly and use that to really push the cable down into the connector. Once the connector is in place on the cable, we'll open up the compression tool and pull back the two sides to feed the connector in and seat it in the center piston. Now we can crank down on the handle to compress the connector, and that's it. This makes a really reliable and sturdy connector that's not gonna come apart on you. I hope you find these connectors as useful as I have. Until next time, bye. But these crimp connectors have one weakness, and that is they're kind of weak. If the cable gets a really good yank, the connector's gonna come off. And that one did come off.